The province initially planned to procure 200 ICU beds but will settle for only 65. They say they are cautious based on the experience of other provinces like the Western Cape who overprepared. The MEC says he is confident no irregularities will be found in any of the PPE tenders awarded in the province. He says, as per national government instructions, the province's list of all PPE contracts will be made public for scrutiny. The MEC says they are optimistic that the province will be able to deal successfully with the peak. If you must ask me whether we're ready for the storm, I can answer emphatically that uh, yes, we are ready. Uh, given the reports uh, we have received from all five districts, from our clinical and managers staff. Over 160 nurses and 20 doctors have been appointed in recent months, with 10 doctors post advertised. The department has also sadly lost three of its frontline staff since the pandemic. With regard to low testing rate in the province, the department's HOD says they are following national department's testing guideline of case definition, which says a person can only be tested when showing one COVID-19 symptom. The provincial government says it will, in the next few days, embark on testing all deaths happening at homes, as pronounced by Health Minister Mkize. Motalipula Marake, SABC News, Kimberley.